Hello, my name is Anna, Anna Austin, and I'm here to teach you how to cook gluten-free naan. Uh, I have been gluten-free for about 15 years, not by choice, and have been diagnosed five years ago with celiac disease. So I love to cook, I love to bake, it's very comforting, and I know what wheat tastes like way back in the day, and I miss it. I miss it so much that I wanna recreate it all the time. Uh, so I have been experimenting. I've, you know, in the past used blogs, recipe books, and sometimes they turn out great. Sometimes I bomb it, or sometimes they turn out too dense or not the way you wanted it to because consistency with gluten-free flours are hard. They're hard. So I think this recipe is amazing. You can let me know what you think in the little comment below if you'd like. All right, let's get started. The thing that you're going to need today is a pan to cook the naan in, a spatula, a whisk, butter. I'm doing about a tablespoon, but you might want more. This is for frying up the naan. Um, I chopped up two cloves of garlic, and this is totally optional. So I'm gonna add half of the garlic into my naan mixture, and then the other half I'm gonna fry up to put on top of the naan at the very end. Again, very optional. I love garlic. It's not for you. I won't be upset about it, I promise. A teaspoon of salt, one cup of almond milk, one cup of almond flour, and half a cup of tapioca flour. And I want you to know that everything, not everything, but mostly I want you to feel like this can be a flexibility of ingredients for you. So if you don't have almond milk, please use coconut milk, any other nut milk. It doesn't necessarily matter. I mean, it, for this consistency, I love it. But again, we are in quarantine, right? So whatever you have in the pantry, and I wanna kind of create all of my recipes in these cooking classes to be flexible for you with your ingredients. So almond flour, you can sub out for, um, you know, a mix if you have that, but just make sure there's no tapioca with it. And for tapioca, I know not everybody is a huge fan of tapioca flour, but tapioca gives you that elasticity in the naan that you're looking for. So it really creates that texture that we want for naan. I don't want to use in all of my ingredients, but it is super helpful in this case. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to put the one cup of almond flour in. And then I'm gonna put the tapioca and the salt. And you always want to mix your dry ingredients together first. <laughs> so if you guys have any recipes that you're like, oh man, I wanna try it, but you're nervous or you want someone else to do it for you, um, I would love to hear what you're looking for. Um, if you wanna put it in the messages down below on this YouTube channel, that would be super helpful um, because I'm gonna keep doing this because this is super fun for me and I love teaching. All right, I'm gonna add this one cup of almond milk and I'm gonna add half of the garlic. So when you're mixing it, you don't want it to be really thin. You want it to be a little thick. Just so you can have that texture, really. But I feel like it's going to be perfect. Yeah, I'm good with that. So you can kind of see it's a little thin, but it also has a thickness to it when I'm, when I'm working it, which is what I want. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes. And then I'm going to start cooking it. Are you excited? Okay, so I put the stove on medium heat and you can feel literally the heat coming through the pan. So I'm going to put just a little bit of butter 
to get it going. A two year pan, just get it all over there. But you can also use avocado oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil. And the reason for these oils is because they are best at high temperatures and we are cooking it on medium to high flame. Uh, so it's no, your oil is not gonna go rancid. So those are great options. Uh, I love butter, but oils work great as well. So it's whatever is easier for you and what you prefer. Grab a quarter cup. Um, and fill the batter up with that and then you're going to place it onto the pan uh, and you're going to spread it out by just holding the pan up and just kind of getting all around and you can also use a spoon to spread it out even more. Uh, the key to this is to get it as thin as possible hence why you are spreading it. Uh, then from there it's patience. You're going to let it sit to about four to five minutes and towards the end I like to uh, get the heat a little bit higher so it gets that crispiness. So you're going to be looking around the edges to kind of see uh, the brownness around there. And then when it's ready, you're going to flip it and then wait another five minutes. So I just cut this up and you can just see this texture, just how it kind of falls apart like that. And it's just so crunchy. Uh, I have to take a bite. Mm. Makes you want to dance. Mm, 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 mm. So good. And here you have it. Some gluten-free naan for you guys. Well, I just want to thank you all so much for joining my YouTube cooking class on how to make naan gluten-free. Uh, if you guys have any other requests on recipes, I would love to create that for you. So please put that down below. And if you liked it, push that button for me. And thank you guys so much for joining and have an awesome day.